Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a vlog on 10 exciting travel news facts worldwide 2020 part 6 and uh, just before we get into it could you please subscribe to my channel it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell um, I upload usually uh, five times a week but uh, this week um, I'll be four times a week um, because um, I've um, been pu uh, pulled in um, so, uh, some days to work this week um, which is including today um, I work at Morrison's uh, usually and um, I've been pulled in, been given extra hours um, so um, I'll fire away and um, according to breakingtravelnews.com I've got 10 fantastic facts so I'm just going to jump right into it with number one um, Expo 2020 on track for uh, for October opening in Dubai wow that uh, that sounds amazing the steering committee of the College of Commissioners General of Expo 2020 Dubai has um, held its sixth meeting with uh, participants reviewing the pro uh, progress on the event ahead of its opening October the 1st. Wow, so I hope it goes um, as well as possible um, uh, for the United Arab Emirates and Dubai. So, fingers crossed. And um, number two, St Lucia. Uh, lightens uh, COVID-19 travel restrictions wow that's good um, all arrivals to St Lucia must have proof of a negative uh, COVID-19 test a PR, PCR test taken no more than five days before arrival the new rule will be effective from February the 10th so next week wow so that's really good and uh, number three IATA 2020 um, the worst year in history um, of aviation unfortunately the International Air Transport Association has amounted a full year of global passenger tra uh, traffic results for 2020 showing that the demand fell by 66% to a full year of 2019 so um uh, again that's uh, not good i hope again at uh, this year and next year it picks up in the future and um, when uh, whenever possible really or as quickly as possible and i hope um people will be able to get traveling again as soon as possible as well um Number four, UK hospitality urges governments to save the travel sector. So, which is, um, again, really important. Um, I can understand why UK hospitality sector is doing that because it is uh, jobs on the line as well um, in the hospitality sector and tourism sector of the UK and so I think um, again the government uh, the UK government uh, again should help them now at number five um, Singapore Tourism Board it seeks to re-engage re agents so that's uh, again good news 
Um, so good luck um, to the in the future for that. Um, number six, uh, JW Mar Marriott Hotel, Shang Shanghai. Fen Thien opens in China. Oh, wow, that's excellent news for the Marriott Hotel, Shanghai and China. And again, I hope it goes um, as well as possible. Um, and um, again, I hope um, that they receive the visitors that, uh, that they need to. Um, number seven, One World updates COVID-19 information portal. So um, it's been done by portal. So it's um, really good uh, that One World are updating um, COVID-19 information. Um, just um, so uh, passengers and uh, businesses um it, it can keep up to date and um number eight rubin brothers snaps up new venice property so that uh, i hope that goes as well as possible what they want to uh, turn it into and for venice itself in italy and uh, number nine Sandal Resorts on a founder with new tourism scholarship. So that's really good news. And at number 10, the hawker culture in Singapore, recognised by the UNESCO. So that's excellent news. And um, I hope it re again receives more visitors. Uh, with it being recognised by the UNECSCO. <laughs> um, so I would like to say thank you for watching. Um, tomorrow I'll upload um, a free magazine for you to download online and it's my February 2020 magazine. Um, also, um, I'll be uh, doing a channel improvements and um, updates uh, tomorrow. So um, have a good day and I hope um, you're all well. And I would like to say bye for now. Thank you. Bye.